Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. We are with 10th chapter of digital image processing, the very popular morphological image processing operations we have been started addressing in this particular chapter. The local maxima dilation operation, the local minima erosion operation. So these are the very popular one and along with the extensions to them, opening, closing, the properties of all these operations that are affecting into the smoothing of the either objects or the background we have been addressed so far. Along with the applications in the form of boundary extraction, the region filling and the extraction of the connected components, we carry the understanding of morphological image processing forward. So after the completion of this particular chapter, you will be able to extract the information from the input image also. So let us have one more topic in this particular family of morphological image processing operations that is convex hull. So let us begin with. So here we start with our topic, we let a set represented by capital A. So it is said to be a convex if the straight line segment joining any of the two points inside the set A lies entirely within this set capital A. So this information, this definition kind is very much important as we address this particular topic. Now the convex hull that is represented by the capital H for an arbitrary set capital S for the neighborhood we can say here or the total local region is the smallest convex set containing capital S. The set difference if we take that we can have either H minus S is called as the convex deficiency of the set capital S here. So now the convex hull and the convex deficiency we have obtained, these are now very much helpful for the purpose of object description. And after the object description, we can further move on to find out the object extraction, object segmentation also. Now here we are going to present a simple morphological algorithm where we can obtain the convex hull. We can represent by capital C in the bracket capital A for the set A as the input here. Now let us have the representation B to the power I where we can have the values for the i 1, 2 and 3 and 4 here to represent the four structuring elements. So as we have four structuring elements, we have this i value for the four options here. Now the procedure here will consist of the implementation of the equation represented as capital X suffix k having the power represented by i for the four options here computed as the union operation. So for the union operation, we again have the two inputs. One input that is having the representation of x suffix k minus 1 that has the operation with the structuring element corresponding to b, the corresponding i is represented here. And the further input is the capital A set A, the input one here. So I holds the four values and the K holds the values right from one, two, three and so on. So here we start with the first step where we can represent X sub X K for the power I corresponding to the structuring element is equal to set A here. So now the representation of the first structuring element, the second structuring element, third structuring element four structuring element can be with the b to the power 1, b to the power 2, b to the power 3, b to the power 4 here. Now you can see here the changes as we go from b to the power 1 to b to the power 4. So here we have the shaded three pixels that were into the first column. Now it has been the first row to the second case, then the third column in the third one and the third row in the fourth one. 
वेर एज द पिक्सल्स मार्क विद द क्रॉस साइन और एक्स हैव ऑल्सो रोटेटेड अलॉन्ग द सेम सिक्वेंस इयर सो लेटस नाउ लेट द रिप्रेजेंटेशन डी टू दी पावर आई वेर डी टू दी पावर आई इज नथिंग बट एक्स टू दी पावर आई हैविंग द सफिक्स सी ओ एन वी सो हियर द सफिक्स सी ओ एन वी इंडिकेट्स द कन्वर्जेंस ऑपरेशन सो दिस कन्वर्जेंस ऑपरेशन इज इन द सेंस दैट वी हैव एक्स टू दी सफिक्स के हैविंग द पावर रिप्रेजेंटेशन आई इज नथिंग बट एक्स टू दी सफिक्स के माइनस वन हैविंग द सेम पावर आई हियर सो देन द कॉन्वेक्स हल of the set a is given as the representation c of capital a capital a inside the parenthesis and computed by this union operation for the i is equal to 1 to 4 here for the corresponding d to the power i here so in another words we can say that the procedure that is to be opted here consist of the iterations of applying the hit or miss transformations to a with b1 here when no further changes will be occurring here we perform the union with the capital a and call the result d to the power 1 here now the procedure is to be repeated there with b to the power 2 the second structuring element so here we apply the second structuring element to the set a until no further changes occur in the further result there now the union of the four resulting d's there that we obtain constitute the convex hull of the capital a so here we have one note there the use of the simplified implementation of the heat or mist transformation in which no background match is required let us have the figure that illustrates the procedure here and the figure a shows the structuring elements used to extract the convex hull that we have seen the origin of the each element is at its center with the empty representation here so these were the four structuring elements b to the power 1 up to b to the power 4 there and now the cross entries or the x entries are the don't care conditions here so this means that the structuring element is said to have a found match into the capital a if by the 3 by 3 region of a under the structuring element mask at that location matches the pattern of that particular mask there so for a particular mask a pattern match occurs when the center of the region representing the dimensions 3 by 3 for a is equal to 0 and the three pixels under the shaded mask elements are one there so the values of the other pixels in the region 3 by 3 do not matter here also with respect to the notation into the figure part a where we have the structuring element b to the power i is a clockwise rotation we have already discussed that is by the angle 90 degree here now the figure b shows the set a for which the convex hull is to be sought there starting with x sub x 0 the power 1 is equal to capital a the set itself has resulted into the set shown into the next figure c that we can visualize next to it by the four iterations so here we have the corresponding figures so the representation of x sub x 0 having the power 1 is equal to the set a here the next image represents x to the suffix 4 here with the same power 1 corresponding to the structuring element next to that we have x suffix 2 and the power is 2 in this particular case the corresponding changes you can see as we go from left hand side to the right hand side so now let x sub x 0 having the power 2 is equal to a and again by using the corresponding equation we result in the set that can be shown into the figure d the next two results were obtained into the same way finally 
forming the union of the sets into the figures C, D, E and F have resulted into the convex hull that have been shown into the last figure G here. And next to that we have the contribution of the each structuring element that is highlighted in the composite set shown into the figure H. So we have the corresponding figures here representing x to the suffix 8 having the power 3, x to the suffix 2 having the power 4 and the convex hull represented by C in the bracket capital A that you can observe here. Now here the convex hull is represented with the effect of the four structuring element with the different shadings here. So here on to the right hand side you can see here the differentiation of the shading for b to the power 1 structuring element, b to the power 2, b to the power 3 and b to the power 4 here. Few tilted lines and few vertical lines you can see into the convex hull. Now there is one shortcoming in this particular topic that the convex hull can grow beyond the minimum dimensions required to guarantee the convexity there. One simple approach to have reduction into the shortcoming that is to limit the growth so that it does not extend past the vertical and the horizontal dimensions of the original set of the points there. Now imposing this one limitation onto the example that we have discussed results into the image that can be visualized into the next figure. The boundaries of the greater complexity here can be used to limit the growth even further into the images with more details. For example, we could use the maximum dimensions of the original set of the points along with the vertical, horizontal and diagonal directions. The price that has been paid for the refinements such as this that is the additional complexity and the increased computational requirements of the algorithm is the one. So let us have the example here. So in this example, we start with x is equal to y sub x 0 having the power 1 represented here. So binary image with the white and black pixels you can notice here. And this is the input image x, the structuring element can be shown there. So now the solution to this convex hull example is the step by step approach to the determination of the convex hull of the input image. So the step one will be the value of y suffix 1 having the power 1 to be determined by using the equation. So this is the equation represented having the union operation with the x here. Now the step two is to find this particular intermediate result so which can be obtained by the intersection operation and also with the erosion operation. So from the definition that has been represented mathematically we have to find the operation here the erosion the result of the operation can be represented like this. So here we have the input and the structuring element having the erosion effect. So as this is the local minima operation, we find the number of pixels that have been represented with the black color have been reduced into the intermediate result here. Now we have a next step to find again the erosion operation with the another input here. The result can be shown here. So now the erosion operation with the structuring element having the first column with the white pixels. The input is also changed here. The intermediate result you can notice here. Now we find the intersection of the above two results obtained into the corresponding two steps. So the illustration can be the intersection gives us only the three pixels shaded with the black color here. Now we have the step 3, the union of the input image 
with the result obtained into the step 2 will give the convex hull of the input image which is illustrated below. So here we have the union operation with the second image that has been just the output from the previous two steps. So finding the union here we obtain the convex hull that is represented onto the right hand side here. So I hope the understanding of the convex hull is very much clear to you people. It is definitely I hope it is beneficial to enhance the knowledge in digital image processing. By the next lecture we shall be addressing the thinning topic in the same chapter morphological image processing. For more information and the knowledge you can subscribe to eKeda channel. Thank you.